Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Thank you guys for clicking on this channel. My name is Francine and I'm here with my channel, The Hermetic Herald, for another uh, very special reading for you guys. So thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate all of the love and support that I've been receiving in my short time on YouTube. And I'd like to touch base with a number of people who are going to be involved in a collaboration that I have with the lovely Lexi the Leo. So I'm really excited to touch base with you guys. I wanted to come into this and I wanted to spend time on each of the three piles that have been calling to me. I feel like there's a channeled message that is going to be in continuation to Lexi the Leo's reading. So I would encourage you to either choose to sit, you know, sit and stick around with this video as I go through all channeled messages and from there determine what pile is meant for you. Or you can either watch Lexi the Leo's reading first and then come over here for your channeled message. It's going to be the exact same pile that corresponds with what you chose in Lexi the Leo's reading. So I am really excited. I am a mystic. I am an Andromedan starseed. Um, I am a mixed starseed, so I have a lot of origins that will resonate with a lot of you that are watching today. And so I wanted to come into this and I wanted to focus in on what are the elementals? What are the nature spirits? What are your ancestors? Those that are true to the earth, close to the earth. What are they saying to you in regards to your shadow process of facing your fears, of facing your shadow self? So we're going to see what comes through. I'm very excited to do just all the channeling and focus in on your energy. But I do also want to mention that as a reader, I do come in a little bit differently as we all do. We all have our own blueprint, our own way of addressing the collective, our own way of addressing the messages. And so I wanted you guys to know that my channel is geared towards focusing on the collective in a new way or a different way where I look at people in the political either arena or I look at celebrities. I look at a number of different groups of people and I tend to do collective messages and also prophetic messages. So if you're interested in, in, in insight information that's coming in for the world at large and also for the collective within that world, I would really encourage you guys to check my content out. You're going to see a lot of content on celebrities because I feel as though it's a very controversial subject to talk about celebrities, right? It's either people are idolizing them and focusing on them as a pinnacle of something or they're putting them down. And I want to come from it with a very well-balanced and very um, freedom-based view that people can determine their own destinies and their own paths and that celebrities have something to show us in regards to either archetypes of what we're healing and what's being addressed in this generation and also just what they're dealing with so if you're interested in things like that where i look at it from more of a shamanic healing perspective of looking at what they're healing as well as their akashic records and what timeline they're on and what what best fits that timeline, I would recommend looking at more of my content. But anyway, I wanted to just give you guys an overview of who I am, what I do, and what I'm doing right now that is going to shift. So um, I wanted to just start off with pile number one. So I was tuning into your energy pile number one, and what I wanted to, to just shoot out there and tell you guys is that I got some clear audience messages here. So you guys have a good amount of stuff coming through your ancestors were very clear so the first message i received was the name samuel jackson now i know that person as a celebrity and i feel as though there's someone here with either the first name samuel or the last name jackson or both um, you may also just like the actor and there's something about this actor that is, sparks some interest in you so that's for one person likely but i'm going to go on into the other message so your ancestor was saying there is ample time for yourself. There's someone here that wants you to really recognize that you have ample time to prepare for something. It may feel as though time is of the essence and I understand there are things that are needed, but there's something about you not rushing a part of this process that is intended for your highest good. There is ample time for you to succeed and to, con it's, I'm hearing control the endeavor at hand that you're trying to complete and, and to accomplish. You have ample time, more than you might even think. There might be some deadlines that are coming before you and you know, as humans in this experience, in this 
material world, we need things done at a certain time, but there's something about a, a really vital part of your experience needing to, there needing to be some peace in your heart with regards to how it's going and how it is it's flowing and how it is forming for you. There's ample time in light of eternity is what they want you to know. There's a need for you to forgive and learn through the hard times. There's a need for forgiveness of self here. That may be one of the things in which you need to address is allowing yourself to open up to the healing process of allowing yourself to heal and um, to uncover the parts of yourself that you kind of have glossed over in the sense of not purposely glossing it over, but of trying to cope with situations that you were in in the past that you have kind of moved out of quickly and so quickly that you almost glossed over it and said i am okay i am moving on it is good that you moved on it's good that you left the situation at hand but there is a need for you to recognize there are there's still some residual pain some residual feelings some pent up feelings i'm hearing that you need to address with them they want you to forgive yourself primarily and learn from the process at hand the only way you can learn from the process is not by leaving the situation but of addressing how you got into the situation in the first place they also gave me the imagery of chainsaw so there's something about you chainsawing one leg this is um purely a hypothetical situation or an imagery uh, imagery they want to show you i was seeing someone cha chainsawing off their leg and they want to tell you there's something you're going to have to leave cold turkey as you step into a new experience there's literally going to be something that's taken from you ripped from you that is going to be that is not going i'm also hearing non-decrypted or there's something about it not being necessary or useful on your journey as you move and transition into this next situation or this new experience um yeah they said that is rare when i when i asked about that they said this is going to be a rare circumstance not many people can cut something off so quickly and move on but you will be able to do something in particular and move from that experience quickly it, it could have been a prayer of yours to to move into a new situation immediately um this is separate from the situation you're learning from and needing to forgive it's almost like you're going to be leaving something that doesn't need to be addressed again spirit also and your ancestors were saying opposite poles tides are turning so you're going to be in a season of life where it's going to seem like you're completely in a new situation a new experience in life the tides are turning i'm also seeing north and south nodes north and south poles so there's something about you going more so into your north node than where um, you are comfortable in with regards to your south node a lot of people may already know that the south node tends to symbolize your past life so there's something about you moving into this north node energy and it's going to even it's going to feel like a completely other side of life i'm feeling virgo pisces energy so you might either have a virgo north node or a pisces north node we also had the words last quarter so the last quarter of this year they want to tell you it's going to be terrifying but serene it's going to be terrifying because of how stark in contrast the issues and things are going to be but know that it is going to be very serene on the other end of it there's going to be a lot of upheavals you may have tower moments coming through as we get into the tarot um, but there is going to be some major movement and it's going to feel a bit terrifying they want you to expect that but it's going to be very very pivotal in your experience in your path i also was getting the word whirlpool you're going to be sucked in and sucked dry in a sense where you're going to feel like it's just one thing after the other spiraling but they want to give you a heads up for that because it's going to there's going to be methods and modalities that you will need to turn to in order to have the energy to move forward so there's going to be a need for you to look into aromatics someone here needs to take time smelling things nature is going to be very help helpful for you the nature spirits want you to smell grass they want you to smell the um external world there's something about you being inside and contained and the air within your space is not um flowing there's a need for you to flow and for the air around you and surrounding you to be um just a there's some essence to the air outside. There's an essence of being in nature that is so necessary in this next step for you. Aromatics, if you're not able to always be outside, a diffuser along with some um, essential oils will be very help for, helpful for you. They also said deliver your time when it's ready to go. So they want you to be very, very open to the understanding of this being some delivering energy, like delivering um, 
there's going to be some deliverance. For some reason, that word came through. You're just going to be biding your time in something as you're going through these changes. Some people are going to be going through that specifically, whereas other people are going through a lot of intense experiences right now. Wow. You have to be ready for when it's time to go. Okay. Um, the number 538 is also significant. I also got Boulder, and when I thought of Boulder, I thought of Colorado, so there may be someone here from Colorado. I'm hearing Sandra and Sarah. Um, you are a Boulder collective, those of you that picked pile one. You may feel too stiff, okay? Um, there's something here about needing to go and flow with the tides. I feel as though what I was getting was an imagery of someone being a boulder and when the water hits it, it's like you're unmovable, sure, but you're getting hit every moment of every day and there's a need for you to rather than stay solidly planted or stubborn in something, there's a need for you to flow, flow with the tides. Don't go against the tides at this time here. Flow easily and steadily and empower yourself. It is, it's very, it takes vulnerability, it takes true power to, to let go, okay? There's something about not having to see your strength in you standing up against something, but seeing it rather in you flowing. The flowing is harder than staying still or staying stiff here. So Spirit wants to highlight that. And I wanna get into your message here for pile one spirit guides angels ancestors what extra messages what messages would you like to say in continuation to lexi the leo's reading what pile spirit or rather wow someone here is new someone here has not seen lexi the leo's reading um feel free to listen to all three channeled messages and that will determine what pile you should choose for lexi the leo okay because i'm getting that energy that someone here did not see lexi the leo's reading and that's okay spirit guides angels ancestors what messages what healing messages do you have for those that are feeling drawn to pile one wow okay so we have three cards coming through bottom of the deck is unlimited possibilities there are an unlimited amount of possibilities for you. Your timelines are constantly shifting. You're shifting gears, always adjusting what needs to happen and what needs to be let go, what needs to be cut, what needs to be severed. They're all the same thing, but there's an energy of you needing to understand the importance of the words. I feel almost like the words are more important than the actual meaning behind them. You've learned many ways of letting go of things and learned many ways of being and many ways of existing because you've been in different realities. You guys shift realities pretty easily. We're getting number 19. This is before judgment, I believe. If I'm, if I'm hearing or feeling it correctly here, anger is the first one. So you guys have number 28, anger. Wow. Who are you angry at? If you're angry if you're angry at anger itself and you don't like the energy of being in anger or having anger towards someone of feeling um, uncomfortable emotions like forgiving people um, it, it seems as though anger is coming up to the forefront of what you're healing and addressing because if you have any residual anger towards someone that's hurt you it can be very difficult to deal with it sometimes people go and revert to not not feeling anything and becoming numb some people revert to crying and emotional release which is a great thing but there's something here about anger not being as open or you e being easily as open to anger um, it's like it takes a lot of adjustments to allow yourself to feel your anger and to really uh, address and settle the feelings of it the feeling of what it means to be angry you might even feel guilty about being angry at someone or feeling that way but anger in its in its own form in its in just in its very essence is not a bad thing okay i want you guys to know that anger is not something that you should um it's usually a defense mechanism so spirits highlighting that there may feel like there's a need for a defense mechanism with anger to approach people that may try to take advantage of you there's this need for you to address it address how you respond to people um addressing even how you understand and conceive or under or perceive someone when they seem angry to you are they truly angry or are they just expressive are they passionate are they trying to protect themselves you're going to be able to see a deeper understanding and meaning behind 
be behind anger and how it can be tempered rather than avoided okay someone here has an explosive anger and they feel like they need to hide it or to mute it and there's a need for you to address it um, it's not intrinsically bad and it's something that you shouldn't feel bad about inherently because usually anger is coming as a response to some injustice or um, feeling a lack of power in some dynamic in some aspect of your life so what aspect of your life are you not feeling in control of collective? What aspect of your life are you allowing other people to take the driver's seat in your life? Are you letting people control your emotions? Because um, just like sadness and other things, we can be easily manipulated in a negative connotation where someone's trying to use you or it's, it's in a connotation of music. Are you allowing yourself to go freely through your emotions and to understand why you feel what you feel? Um, that's coming through. So many things are coming through for this card. The 28th could be significant for you. You may have been, may have had your birthday recently on the 28th. You may be a Virgo. You may have just had your birthday on the 28th of any month, but the number 28 also reduces to 10. There's something about this being a completion for you or a complete understanding once you're able to open up to the understanding of like specific ang specific emotions. Um, that may be uncomfortable to deal with. We also have reunion of souls, number seven. The number seven is about divine timing at play. And I feel as though someone here is almost afraid of certain soul connections. I feel like this is in regards to karmic connections here. There are some people that are going to strike up this anger within you that are going to be people that were on your path for a reason. Um, if you understand this reality in the way that I do, where I see that in this incarnation you came specifically to address your karma address the people that were meant to teach you something very intrinsic or very important about yourself you recognize that these people are here for a reason and they're not meant always to stay especially in karmic connections there's someone here that's dealing with a current karmic connection and it's almost like there's an anger about it an anger about meeting this person an anger about dealing with this person an anger about it and i'm hearing 26 so you may be 26 and the spirit's trying to highlight that this anger you feel is okay. Um, there's anger at what they did to you, how they treated you. Um, the dynamic between you of not feeling like you were good enough or feeling like they were good enough or something about between the two of you guys came together to show you your, your shadows, to show you the dark aspects of self, the in, insecure even aspects of self, where you found something in them and you latched onto that. It may have created codependency in some form or fashion from them, maybe them being codependent on you or you being codependent on them or just both of you. Um, there's something about them mirroring something in you that makes you angry. What makes you angry about this person? Why is this person striking this chord within you? There's something that is, that's going to be coming through in the triggers. Allow yourself to address the triggers because the anger um, should not be, I'm hearing it will not be televised. You don't have to feel like it's on display for everyone to see, but your guides want you to actually open up just to yourself even, to just allow yourself to think about that. We also have the last card as letting go. Yeah, you see how we have the number 43, which is also reducing to seven. You guys have seven, two, and eight. One, two, seven, eight coming through. There's an important an importance with you letting go of the situation at hand and letting go also of your attachment to the anger. There might be some anger that you've held on to and it's affecting your body. Like it's affecting how you flow through life. It's affecting how you address life. It's affecting how you put walls up for other people in your path um, of preventing them from getting as close to you as this person did. I'm feeling really strongly that there's also this need for you to recognize duality, of recognizing light and dark shadow and light recognizing that you i know this is all like i'm hearing headspace i know someone here is already saying i know this stuff i know this stuff i know this stuff but do you really feel this stuff do you feel what what i'm saying here because i feel like you know when for me when i talk to people and i say do you feel me it's like do you do you truly recognize and understand and comprehend fully what that means there's something about you being okay with your light and your shadow, being okay with the dark sides and aspects of yourself, of not seeing one person, this person that the soulmate energy as just good or bad, but seeing them as as 
both. They have both aspects. What they choose to focus on is another matter entirely, but they are compo they're composite. They're composed of multiple aspects of self. There are aspects of them that you may not even know, okay? And that's okay. We're not going to know every aspect of a person unless they let us, unless they let us in. And you may have aspects of yourself that you're not letting people see, but there's something about letting go and letting go of anger and resentment or letting go of the emotions and letting yourself flow through life. Let's look at the bottom of the deck here. We had unlimited possibilities, sexual energy, and self-love. Yeah, seeing sexual energy as not just a two-dimensional type of thing for someone here. Of seeing it as not just something that is used to procreate or something that is used to get off. I'm hearing it's like the energy of creativity itself the sacral chakra your anger i feel like your anger is closely tied with your sexual energy and i feel like someone here needs to be open to their creative energy more because they're going to see some aspects of anger there i i really guarantee that for someone here it's okay to be angry it's okay to flow and to to create to do art to do things like that as long as you're doing it um with your self-worth and self-love in mind Okay, I'm not just, you know, telling anyone to have angry sex or anything like that um, in any way that hurts you. But allow yourself to express what's beneath the surface here, whether it's painting, drawing, writing. Okay, let's see what your ancestors would like to say first. Ancestors, spirit guides, angels, what message do you have for Pile 1? What message do you have for Power One, Spirit Guides, Angels, Ancestors? I'm hearing two. Okay. What message do you have for Pile One, Spirit Guides, Angels, Ancestors? Wow. Do you want me to take this one, Spirit Guides? Okay. They said on side and the bottom of the deck is balance yourself. There's a need for someone here to find balance within them themselves. I feel really strongly that someone here needs to get more into their meditative practices, like of, of spending time doing yoga, of even spending time breathing, stretching, listening to music. Um, something about you allowing yourself to go through each stage of life and uncovering aspects of yourself, uncovering aspects of your experience as well with your past lives and coming i'm getting into the energy of someone addressing their past lives and what each of them have shown them okay life stages are coming through here are very important we have here interact and relate community family and tradition someone here is opening up to their family traditions there's something here about you knowing an aspect of your ancestry and they're opening or asking you to open up and to allow yourself to address the i'm hearing hierarchical um the traditions that your family members once did there's something about you doing something consistently throughout your day or doing something consistently throughout your week i'm hearing maori maori m-a-o-r-i coming through someone here has a background there i'm also feeling like maui so it's like an energy of Hawaii specifically, you could just be Lemurian and like a Lemurian starseed that's coming through. There's something about you interacting and even with what's on your body, someone here has tribal tattoos or has like some kind of expression of their history, of their tradition. They felt very drawn to it and it's because your ancestry is, is asking you. Your ancestors are wanting you to connect with them and to interact through the traditions. Your traditions are going to assist you in understanding the full picture picture of what generational generational curses or generational experiences that need to be addressed and let go there might be some anger hidden within your body that is coming through and these reunion of souls these soulmates that you're beginning to meet are actually people that are, have been there in past lifetimes with your ancestors there's some cousins or some like familial energy coming through that you needed to heal or address or you still need to heal and address and it will happen in time because remember we had the words ample time for yourself don't feel pressure to do this all at once this is going to take its time and take its course but there's something here about you allowing yourself to address the familial aspects of your generational 
a load. There's something about you going through something for your family, for your, your generation, for your past generations as well, in your past and previous lifetimes. Um, I think something that's really interesting is the concept of ancestry. Do you realize that you likely are your own ancestor? Do you realize that likely the people that are with you now um, were your children? generations ago this is something about time and how it's an illusion there's something about you connecting and interacting with the people that are close that are the closest to you your ancestors are not just people from a hundred and whatever years ago these are people that likely are going to be with you in the future in this incarnation if you do incarnate again there's something about a cyclical nature of events and understanding that you when you reunite with people it's to address a bigger and broader understanding um, there's so much to this world and this this experience than what you see or what meets the eye in front of you they want you to interact with the immaterial world because that is where all of it comes from that's where it emanates from i feel a very strong sense that there's so much power and presence in your ancestors they're they're very potent and very very present here we also have focus on children pregnancy birth and adoption some of you may be going through parenthood, going through motherhood, going through fatherhood. There's a need for you to address also the love that they have. Because I feel as though there may be some generational, there may be some people that are going through something similar to me and where there are not a lot of family members that you can lean on, okay? And you're feeling like you don't have enough of a presence with the community. You don't have a presence with people um, very closely yet. Or you're feeling like you're just meeting people that are soul tribe. Um, there's this aspect of blood relate blood relatives not being as 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 close to you of you being closer to people that are not blood related or related to you by blood necessarily so there's something about you being fathered or mothered as well your soul being very well interacting with these family members with these people around you you are very much loved very much cared for and i feel as though they want you to, to allow yourself to see all aspects of your experience including your inner child healing that's coming through some of you may also want to start a family and there's this desire for it but you're fearful of if you'll be able to do it there's something about you noticing the signs and synchronicities and when you feel very strongly that there's a soul out there for you that has been drawing you in that's been um, keeping you up i'm hearing someone like literally has dreams about this person this child that they want to bring into this world or that has been speaking to them and they didn't even want to they didn't expect to talk to them there's like this energy of opening up to what spirit what your path what your path entails okay there may be some more to come that you're not expecting are you open to that are you flowing through that so there's something about birth and preparing for it they're going to help you and interact with you and to assist you i feel like someone needs to really open up to their ancestors and do some kind of um, altar some kind of homage to the to your ancestry to your traditions to your family to your community here we also have noticed the signs investigate symbols and nature spirits look at that guys nature spirits are here the wind okay i think you guys should look at nature and see how it's reacting to the events current events there's been a lot of difficulties in it's hard to see how the earth is being treated and i feel like you guys really feel that and sympathize with it greatly the people that are here and i feel like when you notice the signs you notice how the earth writes itself every time despite all of the difficulties and despite all of the mis the miscarriages of justice is what i'm hearing you are able to see how it writes itself again by flowing through things and still writing itself you may not even see it but there's something about flowing through this next stage in life and there's a need for you to allow yourself to see the sim symbolic nature of of the symbolic nature of the wind the wind is coming through very strongly i felt like putting on wind chimes and now i understand why wow you guys are noticing the signs and there's a need for you to treat your body well here we have exercise meditate and massage someone here needs to spend more time exercising meditating spend more time treating their body well because it deserves that sometimes anger can manifest in a number of ways anger can manifest in you feeling insecure or feeling um like you need to fight but sometimes your fights are not even you're not fighting against physical aspects 
For someone here, you might hear the term, you fight not against principalities. There's something more to what you fight for in this, in this incarnation. I feel this card strongly for you guys in regards to um, your yoga card, what you should meditate with if you guys are interested. There's an energy of you guys needing to open up to the people that are relating to you. I'm hearing miscarriage of justice, miscarriage of justice a lot. So you may have felt like you were treated unfairly. Your lineage is here and they're with you. Okay. Wow. Is there anything else you'd like to share, Spirit, in regards to a meditative practice for Pile One? Wow. Okay. So you guys have number 17 coming out, which is a star card in the tarot. This is practice for empowerment. Look at that, guys. Your guide said empowerment earlier. Five-pointed star and the star. Wow. <laughs> All right. It says place your feet wider than hip width. Toes pointed out here. Drop your shoulders back and down and extend your arms out to each side. In five-pointed star, you may either sustain the breath for four counts or take four breaths in and out through the nose. You may enhance this practice by visualizing an image for strength or the word strong as you breathe. There's something about your breath. You need to allow yourself to breathe through this next quarter, through this next stage in your life. There's a need for you to practice empowerment and what true empowerment means, as I was saying earlier. True empower empowerment means flowing and noticing the signs, noticing when you need to recalibrate, when you need to rest, when you need to recover, when you need to flow, rather than just trying to head, be headstrong about this. This is Leo energy, but this is like an energy of allowing yourself to see the power within you, not within your physical limitations or physical abilities. Okay, there's something about that coming through. We also have what? Warrior two, number 19. From a standing position, step your feet one leg's length apart. Turn your right foot out, right, out to the right, bending that knee, and angle your left foot in slightly. When you look down, you can see your right big toe on the inside of your right knee. Ground into your feet with the mantra LAM, emphasizing the L. When you feel steady and firm, raise your arms parallel to the floor and reach them out to the sides with your palm facing down and your gaze over your right fingertips. For more empowerment, repeat the strengthening mantra, Ram, so you can feel the pulse in your belly. Feel your fortitude. Sustain the pose for 10 to 30 seconds. Repeat on the left side. You can also close with directing awareness. Return to a standing position and sense the power in your arms and legs. Breathe your image for strength through the container of this body that you are strengthening, just as you did with this one. Inhale from feet to crown, I am. Exhale to your feet, here. I am here, collective. You are here. You are here. Look at that, guys. You are here. Not only are you here, you're, you're vital. You're vital in this in experience, in this in this empower oh, there's so much empowerment with you guys you guys are vital for the collective you're vital and when you allow yourself to flow through your strength and allow yourself to see how strong you are wow you can encounter the anger you can encounter the karmic energies the karmic soul ties you can encounter um, all of the soul contracts with ease um, not ease in the sense of they're not going to experience the difficulties but more so you're going to flow through the difficulties let yourself feel what you feel don't hide it don't try to discount it either we also have happy baby pose look at that we had focus on children i feel very strongly you guys need to focus on your inner child <laughs> 22 wow you guys might be 22 you might have two kids you might have a four-year-old there's something about the child the inner child being at, at rest here while lying on your back bring your knees to your chest then open them wide and bring them towards your armpits hold the outsides of your feet in your hands if you can't reach your feet hold your calves for more power and grounding repeat the mantra lam emphasizing the l lam Sustain the pose for 10 to 30 seconds. To complete the pose with more grounding, extend your legs straight up over your head. With bent knees or straight 
and your hands palm down under your buttocks, slowly lower the legs with the sound of LAM, emphasis on the L. Close with directing awareness. Sense how much bigger your body field, your energy field is than the limits of your physical body. Sense how much bigger your energy field is than the limits of your physical body. This is about going beyond your body and seeing just how big your energy field is. You guys may seem small. You might even seem or think that you might even be pretty short for some of you, but recognize just how big your energy field, just how expansive you are in light of more than just your physical body. You are more than that. There's a need for you to let go of the perceptions people have of you, of who they expect you to be. You're not them. You're not going to be like anyone else. Then we also have grounding mudra. Wow, you guys have all grounding cards. There's a need for the root chakra to be, be um, addressed here. We have in a seated position, link your little fingers low in your lap using isometric pressure to pull without releasing. Take five to 20 breaths through the nostrils with an image that for you represents stability. You can enhance the, enhance the effects with the statement, I am here, or by the low chant of the grounding mantra, Lam, extending the L sound. Grounding, grounding, grounding is gonna be so important for you guys. Wow, we didn't even get into the tarot. Let's see what the tarot has to say about this. Is there anything else that you'd like me to address, spirit guides, angels, ancestors? Is there anything you'd like me to address? Wow, we have one card coming through. We have, whoa, the Empress. Someone here is starting a family. Someone here is pregnant currently. There is a need for you to ground, okay? As a mother, I feel like I am here to tell you that you need to ground. As a mother who just had her baby less than a year ago, there's a need for you to ground. Um, someone here is three months along. Congratulations to you guys. If you feel like sharing that, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, this is an exciting time for you guys. The King of Pentacles. Yeah, you guys also are feeling very abundant with your finances. You're feeling very abundant with your path. You're going to see the abundance flow. Um, I'm hearing reject. You felt rejected in the past. Guess what? You're being crowned. There's something that was meant for just you, specifically you, Queen of Cups, that leaves you emotionally fulfilled, Page of Cups, and your inner child fulfilled as well. Wow. You had the Two of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Queen of Wands. You took over the indecisiveness. Some of you are still dealing with this indecisiveness in regards to your, your bounty, your legacy, but there's a need for you to take control and take control of the mind, your mindset here, and acting on what you feel. There may be a need for you to start somewhere, even if you don't understand the full plan. There's something about your intuitive nudgings being correct and taking you where it needs, where you need to go. Wheel of Fortune, there's something about free will at play here. So when I see Wheel of, Wheel of Fortune, it means like karmic fate, karmic destiny. There's something here about you taking the reins and, and operating um, in your power, feeling empowered. That where you go is where you're meant to go. You don't need to hear an audible yes to know that you're meant to go there. Okay, yeah, I'm getting that Two of Swords energy. So a fear, a shadow energy might be indecisiveness, might be over anxiety or overthinking a decision to make ground yourself grounding will help you come to grips with the understanding of what to do next because we have the eight of wands the ace of cups and the four of cups yeah you'll begin to search for what you were looking for you're going to begin to walk towards what you're looking what you were searching for in the past and see it for what it is your bounty is coming through to you you guys have judgment at the bottom of the deck here wow so there's a lot coming in for you guys there's a need for you to let go of something like what we said in the channeled message in the beginning about cutting off or cutting your leg off not physically of course please don't do that um but of cutting away at something it's really important for you to allow yourself to be free there's something that was holding you back in the past and that was your mental state for the most part it could have been relationships as well, something else leading you to another direction, but it didn't feel intuitively right for you. Spirit's highlighting that there's a need for you to allow yourself to ground in order to make those decisions. So that is what I have for you guys today. I hope this helps you in any way, shape, or form on your path and on your journey. If you would like to follow, please feel free to subscribe and also um, click on that notification bell so that you can be notified when I have channeled messages coming through. Um, I thank you so much for taking the time and energy on this reading and please like, share and 
As usual, comment if you liked something or resonated with something in this message as well, whatever you feel comfortable with. But until next time, you take care. Bye-bye. Hello, everyone. Hello, Pile 2. So you're going to see the setup look a little bit different for your reading, and it's because divine timing is at play for sure, because I had to actually transition to another camera so that I could get your message out, which gave me great... The great news is that it gave me a lot more time to focus in on your channeled message that I received. So I wanted to get into it. So I had a number of things come out for you guys. For pile two, there is the name Preston coming through or Presley that is significant. It can be either your, I'm hearing Sean Preston. Um, so that might be your full name. <laughs> Sorry if that's your full name. Um, and also Presley because I don't want to give out too much information. But for some reason I'm getting those names coming through. So your name could either have Sean, Preston, or Presley and that is significant. This can also denote that there's someone significant with that name that is being mentioned here. Um, but Spirit wants to highlight that as a confirmation that this reading is for you. Burger King is also significant. For some reason, Spirit's highlighting where you were um, as a way of denoting whether this is your message. So it, this is going to be an extra confirmation for someone here. So I was hearing also, I was hearing Walk Along, Only Road, and I was thinking of how the lyrics of Boulevard of Broken Dreams by Green Day um, is included in this message. So someone here loves Green Day, someone here resonates with Green Day, and someone here also has like an aspect of their, um, their past with Green Day and specifically Boulevard of Broken Dreams. So you might be around my age range. I am in my late 20s. Um, that is another confirmation that this message is meant for you. I also got felt like a loner. So I was hearing felt like a loner. One of your ancestors wanted to denote or show you guys, I'm saying denote a lot, aren't I? So denote for some reason is a, is a really important word in this reading. So if you have a loner vibe, Spirit is highlighting that this message may be for you because I was getting this energy of, you've had this energy of kind of having a deeper understanding of the situation circumstances surrounding you and because you had situations and circumstances that were deeper or you were willing to go deeper at a younger at a younger age oh my gosh i'm cracking is there's something pivotal about puberty there's something pivotal about your age here because i'm getting this energy of you being a younger more vibrant energy this does not mean that you have to be that age but for some reason the majority of you guys are going to resonate with pile two if you are in your like mid to late 20s or even your teens here so you guys might still feel like loners at this current moment in time you might feel like you don't really get a lot of people and they don't get you i'm also getting the vibe that you might be open to kid cuddy to kanye west to artists like that that you resonate with i'm also hearing don toliver um i don't know these artists as much i just know their music and i feel as though there's a loner vibe coming through here i'm also getting feeling resurfaces and then it and then you hide away so sometimes the feelings will kind of like swell up inside of you where you need to take time away from people take time away from situation circumstances in order to recuperate because you're overwhelmed by people you might go into hermit mode quite a lot which is why i feel as though this group of people you guys i resonate with because of our generation um and you may not even be from that generation but there's something about feeling isolated okay and you liking time away liking being in hermit mode a bit more I was getting the word mocha, so there's something about being mocha colored, so spirit um, and your ancestors were highlighting your skin tone as being significant, and you like to call yourself mocha. That's going to be for like a really specific group of people here. Spirit wanted to also say adhere to, admit to yourself. There's something that you're needing to admit to yourself. Your ancestors want to address something generational that you need to admit to yourself about, and it's also about your heritage. I was getting Asian Pacific Islander, so if you are Asian pacific islander you feel like you have to bubble that in when you do an application or something that's very official they're trying to say you need to admit that aspect of yourself or in part or share that part of yourself with the collective so maybe you haven't been saying that you've been putting in white for some reason that's coming through that's very specific okay um i was getting the words conformed to ideal sometimes 
it feels as though generationally there's been this idea that you needed to conform to some ideal body type, ideal physicality, some ideal relate of ethnicity specifically is coming through. Reclaim your identity is what your ancestors are saying strongly. They want you to be proud of that aspect of your identity. There's something here about that being muted or that not being shared with people. And they're trying to say, don't be afraid to, to show and express that part of you. Okay, I'm hearing Pacific Islander again, Southeast Asian as well. Okay, honor that. Honor your identity. Reclaim that aspect of your identity. That is what you're composed of. That is who you are. Um, there are so many parts of us that we don't even know yet. I feel like your ancestors are specifically trying to highlight aspects of yourself that you may have felt uncomfortable sharing. Okay, I'm also getting listen for yourself. You're, you're highly clear audience. So I don't know if this group might be a little bit more... Um, they might be a little bit more picky with their with what they watch. Um, there's a sense of you trying to nitpick at what people say, including this message even. And it's because you're highly clear audience. There's an energy of you being able to do it your damn self. And I feel like there's someone here that feels like they have that ability. And there's a need for you to listen to it because I got the words fail proof. You won't fail at it. You will need to harness it. When you harness it and as you are harnessing it, because I feel like this is a very present tense, like current energy. Um, you need to know that you will not fail. You don't have to overthink what you hear. It is very clear. Um, it just something about being fail-proof. They want you to know that. All right, nothing will lead you astray. It's because you're always being redirected towards where you should be anyway. Uh, I feel really strongly like you, you have an inner compass within you that is very clear and direct. Um, it's because they're with you. And I'm also hearing they have not fallen away. So maybe if you felt at some point in time that you were distant from them or that they were distant from you when difficulties would arise, they are not. They are closer to you than you think. Okay. I was also getting eth ethereal fairy vibes. The three words were coming through as well as warlock messages. So it's nature spirits are being are very strong with you guys, um, particularly. I'm feeling like there's a, a plethora of spirits with you and they go and range from like the, the ones you understand and the ones that you feel really drawn to and the ones you don't even understand quite yet they want you to know that the warlocks are here the fairies are here the fae and they are very present when you are out and about <laughs> so if you don't know that they want you to know that they're with you here and they're i'm hearing going at it like i don't know if you guys go at it like you try to take a go at it and look for them or search for them they're definitely here <laughs> they're definitely there you also might have an affinity to horses i'm getting that really strongly i felt that card for your shamanic healing message but i want to move into your reading so let's keep going wow okay spirit what healing messages you have for the group pile number two whoa you guys have a lot of messages coming through and you're getting something that pile one did so you might feel drawn to two piles here we're getting sacred space wow letting go and the reunion of souls pile one may be for you as well so with number 21, sacred space, there's an energy of you being comfortable within yourself. I feel as though I'm hearing you knitted and nestled into yourself. You've knitted and nestled down into the deepest aspect of yourself in your hermit, in your time of hermit mode, in your time of looking at the deeper aspects of self. Because I feel like this group is deep. They are, you, you guys speak uh, maybe not as much as you think. <laughs> you think a lot. You are starting to open up and to speak out. Some of you may speak, but not speak quite as deeply as your inner thoughts go but there's a sense of you having sacred space i just keep hearing nestle just nestle into that sacred space find your place find where you, where you can feel cuddled i'm hearing cuddled you have a very specific aura around you and, and surrounding you and speaking of that i feel like i need to get you guys something so i have this as a joke and you guys are the first group to get this um ash is a problem employees from my time in hr but i feel like this is your aura so let's take that all right all right let's see what aura you guys have here your aura whoa your aura is gold guys number 21 you might be 21 you might be going through um, a really big transition you might be traveling a lot because i'm thinking of like 
I think of the world, but I'm also thinking of number 21 in the deck, which is the world, yeah. So you're transitioning into a new cycle here. And there's something about you nestling in and being at home within yourself, of finding your space, of getting your space situated. I felt very strongly that I needed to light a candle, and I feel as though Spirit's trying to highlight that to me. That you guys need to focus in on um, creating that sacred space for yourself. Let me just fix something really quick here, guys. One second. So it may get a little loud, okay? All right, I'm here. So I don't know if you guys were able to hear that very well, but I want to continue with sacred space here. So you guys have this energy with the number 21. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You guys have 21 as your aura and 21 is sacred space here. Yeah, you guys are meant, you guys have a heart of gold here. You guys have an energy surrounding you of so much abundance, a plethora of things that you will be able to do and encounter. You have a, a really strong team as well because I'm feeling really strongly that they're just surrounding you. Um, when I was telling you that you guys had ethereal, vi ethereal fairy vibes as well as warlocks surrounding you, you have the you have such toughness and, and such an aura surrounding you where you attract so many creatures, so many beings, so many star seeds, so many earth angels, so many people, because you understand the walks of life fairly well. So gold is coming through as well in this picture. I'm feeling the sense of you guys nestling into home, nestling to who you are, nestling into where your comfort zone is. You might even be, as I said before, with the flame. I feel as though you guys are really tapping into your fire, your fiery energy. You're tapping into also f working with fire. Fire is very important in this in this reading here, because when you think about precious metals, when you when you when you temper it, when you use fire, it, it becomes uh, malleable. There's something about you needing to become malleable and allowing yourself to nestle into that comfortability where you're actually going through life and you're feeling like you're in your zone. You're not feeling uncomfortable. You're not feeling like you need to cloak yourself and constantly isolate or protect yourself, but you're able to be, just be yourself here. Letting go is a part of that. With number 43, which reduces to seven. We have three and seven here. That is a complete number. There's a, there's a sense of you needing to let go and that being the majority of what needs to be done here. When you let go, you're letting, it's like the burdens, the burdens of the world completely off. It's like that's going to be the, the biggest hurdle is letting go and actually just letting things flow. Because I know as cliche as that sounds with regards to manifestations, um, there's a need for you to let go. Okay, there's a strong need for you to let go of something here that no longer is, is, is holding as much weight as it once was. And this could be a perception of the world surrounding you. Um, you might have more of a pessimistic perspective or idea, idea of the world surrounding you because of all the crap that hits the fan. And I'm feeling as though you're looking at and you're learning more about duality. Because... I resonate with this loner vibe that I got in the beginning, and I'm also resonating with the Fey vibe, right? Magic. There's magic in, in mayhem in this world. And I wrote something about that, and I feel like you guys would really, really resonate with my content because I feel like you guys are going through looking at the duality and the light and shadow attributes of life. We also have here reunion of souls. You're going to be connecting and I'm just hearing soul tribe, soul tribe, soul tribe over and over and over again. And I mean that you're going to see so many people coming to you. And when I saw the leaves here, I saw lavender. So I don't know if you guys like lavender. Your name may be lavender. You, there's something about lavender. And I'm hearing almost like like two like spectrums. You love it or you hate it. It's one of the two. I'm also hearing cinnamon is really necessary for your rituals here. There's a need for you to start using, using cinnamon with your fire. So when you're lighting fire and you're um, speaking to the angels, for instance, this is not an angel message, but for some reason the angels are coming and they're telling me, cinnamon, cinnamon, bless. Like allow them to bless whatever it is that you guys are doing, whether it's an altar for your ancestors or what have you. They will, in, they will help. And I'm also hearing intercede in some way. Um, for you guys. So that's something that they want to talk to you about. They said handle it. There's something you're going to handle with regards to them. And I'm feeling this deck really strongly. Like I need to start shuffling. Oh, I love that branch right there or that um, bark. 
So, I feel like you guys need to touch bark, um, touch a tree, and you, you need to really connect with nature. And allow them to speak to you, okay? You don't assume that, that all trees are welcoming, because I almost feel like the sense of I need to share that not all trees are actually welcoming. Some of them actually hold pain, um, and I felt that. I feel like it's something that you could feel if it's recent. Um, of course, they balance and they flow, but there's sometimes like some, some aspects of things that are connected to some of nature. Okay, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, what would you like to say about sacred space here? Wow, the Eight of Wands. Yeah, you're going to be moving very quickly with the Eight of Wands here. You also may need to communicate with someone about your sacred space of making sure that they know this is your place, this is your time, this is yours. There's also the Nine of Cups. Yeah, um, you're going to be moving and settling very quickly in with someone, maybe even for like, yeah, someone you truly love. There's someone here that's moving in with someone that they truly, really care for and have a love for and they're excited about it. Yeah, Priestess of Discs or King or Queen of Pentacles is here for work. Wow. Moving in and moving on is what I'm hearing. There's something about just decluttering and allowing yourself to really feel and allow yourself to flow with regards to how you even set up your space, okay? The Seven of Cups is here, which means that you might be feeling a bit of indecisiveness of what to pour into and what to focus on because there's so many things that you feel like you want to do right now. We have the Queen of Cups. Go with your gut. Your intuition is on point. As I said, with your clairaudient abilities, you, you already kind of have a sense and a feel of what is going to be the most enriching and what really brings you the most joy. For letting go, we have the Six of Pentacles. We have give and take. You're letting go of people that have conditions that are not um, allowing you to really shine because I feel as though you've had people, yeah, Five of Cups, which is a very, a very sad um, situation. It's loss. It's also a very karmic energy here with the Six of Cups. Some soulmate here that you are in a, a relationship with or a dynamic with. It could be a mentor or it could have been a soulmate like a, a relationship. Um, it could have been a partner of yours, someone that you had a child with specifically. Um, there's some aspect of you needing to let go. Yeah. You. This isn't the first time you've met this person in this incar uh, in any ca incarnation. This is definitely not the first time. Spirit's highlighting that. Um, there's a need for you to allow yourself to heal the aspects that are coming through now in this incarnation because they're trying to tell you something about this person and why they were there. Letting go of the result is very important. Not just always expecting that when you love someone, you're, they're going to be with you forever. Okay. Sometimes you love them and you you love them from a distance going forward or you you recognize an aspect of them that you didn't expect. Yeah, we whoa, we have a divine counterpart that we're talking about as well because we have the page of cups, the lovers and the emperor and the four of wands. Yeah, you're going to be re reunited and celebrating with your divine counterpart. Uh, this person was likely a soulmate, maybe even a karmic soulmate. Um, you're going to be having a new start very quickly with a divine counterpart here with the six of wands as well. And the King of Pentacles, yeah, there's going to be a lot of, whoa, okay, justice is here. Spirit really wants to highlight, this is going to feel like a, I'm hearing kablam, like, um, I'm hearing that, that uh, commercial, Bobby, not Bobby Flay, um, there's some person that said kablam, and he was the oxy clean guy, um, you guys know who he is, uh, likely, but Wow, you guys are going through a huge upheaval, huge transformation, and it's going to be karmic retribution for you guys. Whoa, I don't feel like there's anything else to say here but that and moving into the next Oracle deck because I feel like that's what Spirit wanted to highlight through these cards. Wow, okay. So Spirit Guide, Spirit Team. I, I'm so used to saying Spirit Guides, but Ancestors. Ancestors. What messages do you have for Pile 2? What messages do you have for those that are tuning into Pile 2? Thank you so much for the messages that are coming through so far. Wow. Okay, so we have two cards. We have Have Courage. Look at that. 
This is a beautiful card. I love this deck. It, it has a lot of power in, in its imagery. Um, this is strength, fearlessness, and warrior. You guys are warriors. You guys have fought a lot of battles. Um, you guys are likely old souls. You've been here and you fought. You likely have fought, I'm hearing like in, I don't know why I'm hearing membership, um, either in some army, enlisted in some army, enlisted in some dynamic where you had to come through for a group of people. And there's three specific, there's two other people that are on your path that are going to be very pivotal for you. Two specific people um, that are going to be working with you. It's like you guys are quite the trio is what I'm hearing. We have take time out as well. Siesta, recharge, and rest. There's a need for you to recharge, re, uh, rest. And when you guys take that hermit mode, really taking the time to rest. Not just, um, you know, saying, uh, trying to sleep and then ending up thinking about all of the things that you have to do tomorrow when you're out of hermit mode. There's a need for you to actually take that time to recharge and rest and manifest as well. I feel like you guys manifest well and best when you're at peace and relaxed. Okay, you guys are very cerebral as well, I feel as though. I feel like there's a lot of swords here and a lot of fire energy coming through. Have courage. Red is something that's going to be really important for you. It, it represents, oh wow, I'm looking at this and I'm seeing how this aligns. <laughs> wow. So you guys are working on your root chakra, your heart chakra, and also your third eye here. Okay. Wow. And I'm also seeing this sign here like dividing you guys are dividing up your time onto number a number of things you might be uh you might have a child here because i was getting the empress energy as well there's this energy of you deciding to i'm hearing repopulate wow so you might have like aspirations to have more than one child or have more children soon that's coming through for someone spirit tends to highlight things like that to me as well in readings because that's something i'm open to so if you're not open to that that is not your message but that is coming through as well wow spirit really wants to highlight not to take everything and take it uh take it to heart if not everything resonates for some reason someone here feels that way all right spirit guides whoa two of pentacles you guys are finding balance here um finding balance with your work and career life we have the fool i'm hearing ignorance is bliss how hard is that to do for someone i feel like you guys are, that's a really hard thing for you guys to do to be ignorant of something you have so many options like we had with the seven of cups coming in earlier so you have it twice guys there's a need for you to to not get too caught up in the illusions of things you need to let go you need to let yourself allow this to come in the ten of pentacles and the ten of cups here okay there are many ways in which you're going to reach your goal there are many ways in which you're going to reach your abundance okay act now is what i'm hearing don't get left or left in the dark. You're meant to shine in this in this life, in this incarnation. And you're meant to do something long term. Because the Seven of Pentacles came out twice for you guys. Wow. There's some karma. There's some soulmate energy. You guys might have a life path six because that's coming through strongly. You guys have a lot of soulmate connections and soul ties as well as what I'm hearing. Um, as the divine feminine, some of you guys are divine feminine here. And you're moving through all of those karmic relationships, karmic archetypes, karmic people. And you have this like, there's some hurdles that you have to adjust or address in regards to how you integrate those feelings, those people that came into your life and almost did some damage, you know, tried to do some damage. I'm hearing like you had to do damage control with these people. And that's really intense of an energy here to feel. But Spirit's highlighting that there's a need for you to allow yourself to quiet your mind, to rest, to recharge, to reflect on those relationship and the dynamic, and also to have courage of addressing something. You guys, someone here has a son in particular that might be a soulmate of theirs in the sense that they were with them past lives. And I'm hearing that now's your cue. You recognize who they are. Now what do you do with that information? Okay. How do you how do you help them achieve their potential? How do you help them address their path and what what you guys have decided to make in this in this world? We have number 34 coming through for you guys. That's the meditation mantra. 
it says sit tall and let your left arm or left hand form a bowl in your lap. Let your right hand nest inside the left and push the tips of the thumbs together. Imagine a soothing image or the word peace in your heart as you breathe through the nostrils, extending your exhalation longer than your inhalation. This is a soothing mudra to practice during meditation. Repeat for five to 20 breaths. Someone here is allowing themselves to be, uh, to be at a place of sitting at the seat of their creativity because i'm seeing sacral chakra coming through the womb space as well coming through the place and the seat of creativity is coming through really strongly i feel as though someone here also needs to look into the number seven because seven 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 may be following you everywhere you guys had 43 34 you had um other you had number seven straight up there's something about you addressing your throat chakra and your sacral chakra as well there's just a need for a tune-up i'm hearing a balancing act here wow is there any other message any other wisdom from the ancestors and the elementals here wow number one stair step breath for depression and lethargy so you guys are feeling a little down some of you are feeling a little pessimistic or feeling a bit tired very tired and that is why the rest and the rest was coming through for you guys the need to recharge we have while seating or lying down imagine a glass elevator to the top of a mountain as you breathe in slowly through your nostrils at the top imagine something beautiful your image may change or stay the same if you don't see an image say a word to yourself like peace beauty or love take little steps down the mountain through the nostrils until your lungs are empty notice how your belly snaps back towards your spine with each exhalation repeat this breath and visualization three times there's a need for someone to really ground here. You're back to the basics. There's something about the basics coming back to you like a class. Like you're taking a class likely in Reiki or taking a class in some modality like yoga. There's a need for you to open up to even taking classes to um, addressing your um, exhalation. There's something about you taking a breath and taking it in a way that's helpful to your body and nourishing to your body. I'm hearing breathitarian. It doesn't have to be as extreme as a breathitarian, but there's something about you getting back to the basics and relaxing. Reaching up. There's like a, uh, something about reaching up here and expectation of good, of great things coming for you guys. All right. <laughs> I, I got this as well. I am that. I am that. Enter your, the word of choice. <laughs> there's a need for you to, in a seated position, allow your eyes to soften or close. Find a soothing image, maybe from nature or a time when you felt focused and calm. You can also visualize a word like peace or clarity. Inhale your arms out in front of your heart. Pause and see that image or the word in your heart's mind. Draw your hands to your heart in eagle mudra as you chant so hum, which represents I am that. Repeat three times. 29 is coming through 11. You're at the, you're, you're very close to something. You're close to something in regards to divine counterparts, divine soul, like your soul tribe. Something like this is coming through and it's very strong, very strong for you guys. I am that, I am that bitch, I am that, <laughs> if that helps. Dynamic rock and roll 21. We have, while lying on your back, bend your knees towards your chest, wrap your arms around your shins and tuck your chin. Roll forward with the sound VOM. Roll back with the sound HUM. For a mo more strenuous variation, roll forward into forward bend with a straight back. Legs extended and arms forward with the sound VOM. Inhale to center, then roll backward into plow, halasana. Legs overhead, toes reaching for the floor, exhaling with the sound HUM. Repeat five to seven times or five to ten times. You can close with releasing and taking a moment to sense the back of your body lying on the earth and ground as well by inhaling from feet to crown, I am. Exhale into your whole back body here.
you are here in this incarnation. You are here and present, and I'm almost seeing the same thing. What's interesting is Pile 1 got this as well. Um, if it's not Pile 1, it was another reading I did, a channeled message. So you might be someone that's going to resonate with this content. But there's a need for you to get into this gestational or like fetal position. Allowing yourself to get back to the basics of being a child, of being in touch and in tune with your inner child and of extending your love outwards unashamedly unabashedly here wow so that is what i have for you all today i hope this assists you on your path on your endeavors going forward i pray that whatever it is is for your highest good occurs so it will be and i also ask that if you guys like this video that you like share and subscribe um, if you feel drawn to my energy, I would love to have you as a part of the community and a part of the family. So feel free to subscribe if you'd like more videos like this. And I hope you enjoyed and take care. Bye-bye. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, Pile 3. How are my Pile 3s doing today? So I wanted to set the tone for the readings, and I decided to light some, I was about to say Palo Santo, but I feel as though someone here uses that very, very frequently. That is one of my favorite things to use, and I've decided to use a candle today. So there's something about fire energy coming through with your reading. I wanted to start by going into what I had for you guys in regards to your channeled messages. What's interesting is that I felt such an energy and a vibrant energy at that with you guys, where it was like, go, 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 go. Like literally I was sitting here meditating and they were like, just do it. So something's going to come through rapid fire. Um, something's just going to come through and flow along with the reading more channeled messages will come through but I have a couple for you guys what I could settle it's like when I settled into your energy I was getting brothers and dad so there's something about father energy coming through there's something about the patriarch and an understanding of the patriarch understanding of masculine energy that is coming through as a way of uh, as an, a thing that is needed that you need to heal basically because i'm feeling a sense of there being men in your life that have not shown you or uh, have been i'm hearing residual like there was like a residual effect from the people in your life they may have left or they were not very present in your life and they're coming through here as a shadow energy that you're addressing in this incarnation if it's not your brothers or your dad, it's something regarding masculine energy. I also got the number eight is significant, which is a, the number of abundance, but also of flowing. I think of feminine energy when I think of the number eight here. So I feel like you guys flow very well and effortlessly. There's this, I was getting this green aura surrounding you, and it was the energy of heart chakra activation and openness to love. And I was getting the word, um, I was getting nature. I was thinking of trees, and I was thinking primarily of the nature your spirits coming through for you guys as a way of healing i'm hearing a modicum of healing so the nature spirits have surrounded you have hugged you have really taken you in um, i feel like they have so many words for you and it's hard to pinpoint which words to use here i'm getting the the song touch me like you do by um, ellie golding and i feel as though someone someone here may resonate with that song you may resonate with a movie a particular movie that song was in hint hint or you may just have the name ellie or elsie i was getting elsie elise and ellie for some reason the eight the ell -L was very significant here so someone here um needs that confirmation that ellie or elise is a word or someone that is very important in your life that is being addressed here i was also getting grounding there's a need for you to get grounded in nature more because i feel like you are supported specifically you guys are geared towards um they want you to be geared towards addressing your shadows with regards to your stability and your root chakra so if you feel um like you're like your head you're, you're <laughs> i'm hearing so many things it's hard to pinpoint it your head is in the clouds if you feel like your energy is more so easily accessible in the upper chakras meaning you can balance up your you can balance your upper chakras a lot easier than you can your lower um they're trying to highlight that you need to ground by going into nature a lot more this is something we hear you know a lot but there's a need for you to truly spend time specifically with the color green as a modality like a color therapy type um, thing is coming through i'm also hearing gouda so you may be eating gouda cheese right now very interesting um not gouda it's just the idea of 
just the messages that are coming through. It's so cool. So let's see what else is coming through for you guys, okay? Spirit guides, angels, whoa. Ancestors, specifically ancestors. I'm so used to saying that, so please forgive me. But my intention here is to talk to, yeah, to talk to your ancestors. Ancestors and elemental spirits, nature spirits. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your energy, for the energy exchange, for the messages of love and the messages of victory. Thank you. Okay, so you, pile three, have a lot more going on than the rest of <laughs> the readings that I've had so far, the other two piles. So let's, let's get started. That is why they didn't want me to waste time getting into channels messages. They're like, go, 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 go. So you have number, the first one is 20, healing energy. So there's something about you having a seed of doubt, okay? They want to address a seed of doubt in regards to something. What's interesting is that you're surrounded by green, which is the aura I was seeing. I was seeing more of like an evergreen, uh, a, a darker green, um, more like, you know, a Christmas tree um, green. I was seeing like, I'm hearing... It's not cider, um, cedar. I was getting that color, but this is a lighter green surrounding this handprint here. And I feel as though Spirit's saying that you have a seed of doubt with regards to your genetic imprint or in regards to, it's like, do I, it's like the balance between your spiritual self and your physical self. So there's some metaphysical terminology coming through, metaphysical understandings coming through. It's a lot, it's very in depth and deeper. So I'm trying to find the words. Um, Spirit's highlighting a seed of doubt that has raged, is what I'm hearing. Some idea or some feeling of lack within this, within this um, seed. Because when your seed, when you germinated and sprouted in your mother's womb, is what I'm hearing, there was this energy of something feeling like it was missing from the beginning. It was not truly missing. It was just that there was no one that was mirroring that energy to you. Wow. You guys have a very deep energy coming through. Um, all of these cards, these, these have been deep in their own way. But there's something here about you having something that you never felt like was compatible with someone else. Like you felt like you were the only person and it felt like almost like a keyhole like there was this keyhole here um where you just were waiting for someone to to break open and to address that part of you you felt like you couldn't truly understand uh, people couldn't truly understand this aspect of you and so you rescinded their offers because they didn't truly meet you in a deep deep way and I'm feeling like when I did that, I was thinking of Yoni, and I feel like someone here is addressing their Yoni. They're going through either Yoni steams, they're addressing their healing of the womb that's coming through very strongly. And I think this has to do with that patriarch type energy. I feel as though it's restricted you in some way. And it feels like you guys, specifically a group of you, are feeling like you had to, it's like withstand a lot of oppression from masculine energies that were not in their light attribute were not healing, were not balanced. They were very unbalanced, they were very shadowy energies and that masculine energy mastered or tried to master you. And that's coming through real strong, wow. I'm getting, um, I'm getting really emotional here. I think someone here is going through that emotional release of addressing struggle with regards to men. Um, struggle in regards to, wow. Um, struggle in regards to like finding some kind of solace in the difficulties and in the experience of dealing with certain masculine energies of it being like an up, up, uphill battle with the salmon going upstream of having to honor your energy because I'm seeing the, the trees here um, going up towards the sky it's like you've been trying to look ahead I'm getting really specific imagery that's a little bit troubling for me to say, um, so I, I want to censor and, tr and have a trigger warning for you guys, but I'm seeing like someone looking up at the ceiling during something very traumatic, and that being something that was like uh, your solace of looking away from a situation. Um, wow. Um, you know what that is. I, I don't want to belabor that at all. I, I just think it's honoring to, to address this because it's something that you experienced in your life. And it's very pivotal. It's been very pivotal in some ways of addressing certain energies around you that are trying to contact you or have come to, the, to you on this plane um, so that you can heal and address it once and for all. 
Um, I'm hearing Masterson, and that's why I'm feeling like you know what I'm talking about. Um, there's this energy of someone having some struggles with regards to power dynamic, like someone trying to um, take advantage of them. Oh my goodness. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Ancestors. Thank you, Nature Spirits. There's someone here that's healing their masculine energy. Um, I feel really connected to this energy um, because I feel as though you guys are, are redirecting your... Um, I'm hearing redirecting your sense of self, deciding to stand up, pull yourself up by your bootstraps, say, I'm going to keep going, I'm going to keep walking, I'm going to keep moving forward. And you're very, very goal-oriented. It's really beautiful because even despite the struggle, you, you decided to move. You decided to keep flourishing. You allowed yourself to open up like a sunflower and to allow people to see this inside of you. And it's beautiful because inside of you, it hasn't truly left you who you are on the inside. It's just that things have matched or attempted to mask certain aspects of your experience and made you feel as though you had to be small you had to be lesser than you had to be what they wanted you to be and fit you in some box but you are not you are not that you are beyond the box you are beyond the concept of a box um you are inexplainable it's something about like i'm here feeling interdimensional energy i'm getting shivers goosebumps about your energy you guys are something 16 is also the devil energy you've gone through some devil energies capricorn energy also is coming through but this person does not have to be a capricorn or people do not have to be capricorn it's just the energy of toxicity of stagnancy of abuse of pain of in certain things just kind of seeping into your in your into your experience okay my heart just beat once for some reason and i heard that and i just kept going it's almost like your heartbeat um stopped or dropped i don't know if it happened now or if it happened in the time uh, sometime in the past for some reason that's coming to mind heartbeat all right and i'm hearing heartbeat down um like your heartbeat goes down you regulate yourself constantly in order to address your shadows in order to address people in order to address situations that are very stressful because you've had to deal with it so many times this is for a specific group of people here look at that you guys have grounding spirit is highlighting the need to ground during these moments um i saw a really 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 great um post from someone named blue moon mystic i believe they go by claudia now and it was like a number of ways to address your sympathetic and vagus your, your vagus nerve your the way you regulate your body after a stressful event or just throughout your day and i think it would be really helpful for you guys to have methods if you don't already i feel as though you do in place to address and confront the moments where your intensity the intensity of your anxiety starts to peak um, in order for you to address it head on at work and wherever you go um, i'm hearing so many things um rose gold someone here might be having like um, i'm hearing plantains but also um pretzels Someone here is eating those things when they're watching this. 16 is very important for you guys. Something happened in 16. That's very important here. 32 might also be a very pivotal age as well for someone here. We have 19 unlimited possibilities. There's something beautiful about these unlimited possibilities that are coming for you though. No one could deter those things. Nothing could deter or affect your route and, and truly your path. I feel as though your detours never truly led you offshore. Um, for some reason, getting offshore, offshore accounts as well. Very intense energies are coming through. Um, I feel as though someone here needs to recognize that nothing can deter them truly from their path and their purpose. Um, you have so many unlimited possibilities and I feel as though feathers, like I see here, the peacock feathers is very significant. Um, getting into nature, there's something about your joy. You guys might have a Jupiter in Sagittarius. There's something about trees coming through as well, being very, very helpful to you because when you look at a tree and how much abuse it has undergone or experienced at times, you see those things on their exterior, but they're still there. They're still planted. Someone here needs to, um, look at trees as an, an expression and as an extension of themselves um yeah i'm hearing ebony as well you, that might be your name i'm hearing priscilla that might be your name madison i'm also getting the word angsty you might feel a little angsty in, com in comparison to your peers 
And in regards to your co the collective experience here, you might feel like you're a bit angsty and you're a little too much for people because of your experience being so difficult or harsh. You're not too much for the right people. Okay, I have here number one, movement into balance. Going back to the basics, but it not being like you're not advanced. It's not about not being advanced. You are. Typically, people that are advanced have to go back to the basics. That is what makes you advanced. Seeing aspects of the beginning in new measures and new ways is not, um, it's not uh, something that says that you're you're not enough or you're not experienced in life far from it okay i want to make that clear to someone we have stripping illusions integration and change you're stripping illusions of how you should perceive yourself and i think you guys i feel like an eagle spirit about you guys seeing the overall picture is your integration method of seeing how the perception seeing how the experience was mapped out and how it led to this moment there's something about it being like an omen for you of showing you some past life triggers traumas as well past life experiences is coming through number 31 yeah i'm hearing an, uh, i'm seeing phoenix i'm seeing an owl and i'm seeing feathers as being messages for you yeah birds are very very impactful to you guys and look at sexual energies coming through your psychic development with your sexuality is on point you've learned and healed so much of your sexual energy guys it's crazy you should be so proud of yourself truly i am like so f uh, wow i i feel as though there's some pent-up aggression and anger that's coming through the wow was actually at how long i've been doing these six and and not doing the rest but you know what Spirit wants to talk about these specifically. Someone here is 27. Um, wow. What's interesting is I keep hearing the name Masterson, and I'm sorry, but trigger warning on that one because I feel as though there's someone here that has like a Scottish origin, and that's coming through from that last name. Um, someone here might even have that last name and feel very upset that their name is shared with someone in the in the media recently that has been uh, addressed um, for doing atrocious atrocious things within the sphere of of women. So I feel as though someone here is is dealing with that as well. Really specific for a few of you. Is there anything else, spirit? Anything else at all? I want to go with the flow here. Anything else in this deck? Cope. There's something, someone here that's struggling to cope with regards to their past and addressing your, your mental clarity, addressing your acuity. And if you feel like you're um, spending more time in your masculine energy, there's going to be a balancing effect here as well. There's going to be a balancing effect where you're able to see and perceive the masculine energy in a whole new light. Yeah. Pulling energy. Number six is important. You might be a life path six. Spirit. Ancestors. Thank you so much for being here. I'm hearing Forsyth. So someone might be here in North Carolina. Forsyth County. For some reason that's coming through. Davidson. Spirit guides. Angels. Ancestors. What messages do you have for ancestors? <laughs> Thank you all for being here. But ancestors and nature spirits. What messages do you have? Wow. Back to basics. That's exactly what we were just saying, right? Simplify, reduce, and center. Don't, uh, someone here might feel recycled or feel reused or feel like they're not good enough for someone. You are. You did not change your car, your, your footprint. It's like something about your blueprint never changed. You were in there all along is what I'm hearing. Meaning you healed, you did transform, you did metamorphosize for sure. But there's something about the integral parts of you never leaving. Even when they were obscured, hidden hidden, um, thrown to the side, objectified, put down, damaged in some way, shape, or form. And I'm sorry if this is triggering someone, but there's something about you addressing those feelings and those re remarks that people have made that were lies about you and about your usefulness or your like sanctity is what I'm hearing. Back to basics, simplify, reduce, and center. Whatever is not giving you peace or bringing you peace, let it go to the wayside. It is not worthy of your time. There's something also about transforming your space as well, transformative healing in the form of ad addressing your space, moving out of a situation, taking only the bare minimum of not taking also relics from people and relationships that did not do you justice is what I'm hearing. 
Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Don't take the words that people have said that were very painful with you on your journey. There's something about rectifying or addressing the, the words and the woundings. Um, if you're leaving home or leaving like a family or like a hometown, there's a need for you to allow yourself to leave the, the aspect of who you were behind in the sense of it is a part of you you need to reckon with it but not seeing yourself as that person you're completely you're transforming so much collective for pile three that i feel like you need to never when you go back to your family or to the people that are in your life that are affecting you this way negatively you need to address yourself as you are now or treat the situation as you would not as you were in the past like the person you knew back then is not who you are now in the sense of you stand up for yourself you respond to certain things now you don't take and hold offenses the way you did in the past no one else is going to rewrite your story there's something about you not letting anyone rewrite it or speak it over you because that's not who you are anymore we have go with the flow let go rest and manifest there's a need for you to let go rest and manifest here letting go there's some flow of offenses that you're going to be letting go in time as you go consequentially is what i'm hearing <sighs> i'm feeling this card really strongly it's the mother piece tarot you might resonate with these cards for some reason i'm feeling this card and that's judgment yeah you might also be lgbtq as well plus um, I feel as though there's an energy of you making a judgment call with regards to the people in your life that are not serving you. They were, it's like there was not a foundation really laid out. There was a lot of conflict, conflicting understandings and ideals. And you want, you, you want to protect yourself from that with the four of pentacles. You want to conserve your energy, you conserve it for the right people, for family, for soul tribe. I'm also feeling, wow, um, I'm feeling these three, which is the Page of Cups, the Queen of Wands, of oh, taking your energy back, of being the Lion. You might be a Leo as well. Um, it's about opening up to your creative side, to your abilities, to your individuality, and, and of not trying to decipher what everyone and anyone is thinking that you used to know. Um, you are no longer teaming up with them is what I'm hearing. You're no longer like... I'm hearing housework like you're not meant to stay with certain people and that's okay you're not meant to be their house slave or house something i'm co that's coming through justice is here someone here did you an injustice in your family um you're going to be very successful though despite that i'm getting sagittarius energy coming through as well as libra all right i'm getting virgo as well and i'm also getting with this pisces two of cups energy cancer wow getting a lot of energies with you guys um we also have the knight of wands yeah you're going to be very successful in your love as well in in your partnerships going forward continually you're going to have some knight of pentacle here someone who's slow and steady who's remarkable and strong and sturdy is what i'm hearing very specific we also have the moon but it's shrouded in obscurity for some of you moving into this new cycle, but it's leading you to a lot of faithful people in your life. Yeah, a magician could be a Gemini energy coming through for you, specifically a Gemini for someone here. And I heard, oh Lord, from someone, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Um, magician energy is here though, someone who's a manifester. It can also be a Virgo, sun. Wow, 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 yeah. Um, I'm hearing appeal appeal to court i don't know if you guys have to go through the court system in some way for some of you but recognize that you're going to be assisted in, their, in your time of need someone here needs financial assistance yeah high priestess intuitively you're going to be drawn to someone or they're going to be drawn to you and it's going to be almost like a magical thing where you just you feel like you're in your head about something about how to move into something you may be also physically moving and getting out of your um a situation that's not physically or even emotionally beneficial and you're going to find this person or they're going to find you and help you out you're going to be also helping people out with your in, with your interests and modalities it could be massage here with the six of pentacles so much so much energy coming through for you guys i'm hearing so many things practicum someone here is in is in a study of some sort 
the, all the possibilities, man. The possibilities for you guys is unreal. Spirit guys, what would you like to say in regards to the yoga mudra deck? What would you like to say? We have a couple relaxation. Some of you guys need to just literally lay like this, like take a nap like this. <laughs> um, I come from a, a Jamaican background and, and unfortunately I was told from the very beginning as a child, and I don't know if this is the case, but that if you lie like this, you know, all of these like ghosts, oh, excuse me, my voice just cracked, wow. Some ghosts or something will, will take over and possess your body and that for like the longest time scared the crap out of me. But don't worry about that, okay? You guys are protected and loved. This is not to, <laughs> disincur to discourage you at all, but spirit wants you to relax. This is the re relaxation pose, okay? Lie on your back with your feet a comfortable distance apart and your arms at a 45 degree angle with palms facing up. I'm hearing Psalms, someone here also is practicing hoodoo as well and, and Psalms is very important 45 Psalm 45 okay anyway you may use a folded blanket under your head and a bolster under your knees and as a Virgo that's like that's wrong your head but uh, rest while practicing imagined alternate nostril breathing 50 or life force yoga bliss meditation or while listening to your favorite guided relaxation practice practice for 5 to 25 minutes five to 25 five and two is very important for you guys you might be 25 as well we also have eagle mudra look at that guys this is something that almost is going to open up your inner child because you guys are have been warriors from a young age okay very young we have research shows that simply placing the hand on the heart can have a calming effect the right hand covers the left side of the chest with fingers spread like a wing, while the left hand covers the right side of the chest with fingers spread like a second wing. Thumbs are linked. Take three to six slow breaths. And it's like two other parts of these decks, which is number 42 and 43. Beautiful. Fly like a bird. You guys also might resonate with Nelly Furtado. Someone here should go to the beach more. I feel like that would be really helpful for you. Um, some of you also may like seagulls <laughs> and you may not see them as negatively as some people do. I'm also seeing the meme, like I'd like to solve the puzzle uh, with number 32, finger pushing mudra. You guys have a sense of humor as well. I love that. This mudra deepens the breath and brings a calming sense of balance to the mind. Face the palms towards each other in front of the belly and press the fingertips and tip of the thumbs together. Imagine a soothing image or the word peace at the brow point as you breathe through the nostrils, extend, extending your exhalation longer than your inhalation. Repeat for five to 20 breaths. I just wanna show you guys these cards again. What I wanna also um, focus on is also what it says about the cards. These blue cards are meant to soothe your mind when anxiety is visiting or you're feeling overstimulated. These practices will calm your mind. So 28 and 32 are very important numbers as well for you guys. Number five and number eight. So there's a need for you to do this whenever you feel overwhelmed and feel free to go back if you need to remember this or write it down or take a picture of it. You know, 21st century, I know. <laughs> but we also have 52 relaxation. Very simple poses that are going to be very important and also transformative for your path. There's a need for you to also laugh and have fun, smile more, positive energy and joyfulness. There's a lot more joy coming through with you guys. There's a lot of like a need for you to go to the water. And there's something about the green, like green water. I'm not talking about like murky water, but like there's like an energy of something about green. Water being green in some spaces and that being important here. Um, the ocean and water spirits want to be with you, want to spend time with you more. Hydrate your body, enjoy music, and allow yourself to laugh, to let go, and to have fun. This will help you flow through these emotions. And also the techniques that I mentioned as well will be very helpful. What's interesting is that the last one here is ocean sounding victory breath, which I believe is the one that was told that we were told to look at. Look at that guys, they're taking care of you. Let me see. Yeah, they want you guys to focus in on ocean sounding victory breath specifically. We have sit in a comfortable position, relax your jaw and let your tongue fall away from the roof of your mouth. Though we breathe through the nose in this exercise, let's learn it by breathing through the mouth. Slightly constrict the back of your throat and let the breath travel over the back of your throat as you exhale, making a sound like an ocean wave. 
Listen to the wave sound as you inhale. When this becomes easy, gently close your mouth and with the same constriction in your throat, breathe through your nose, making a sound on both your inhalation and your exhalation, like waves over pebbles. Repeat for 10 to 20 breaths. You can use this breath while moving into sustaining and moving out of postures on both red and blue cards. So red is also something to lift your mood when depression is visiting or you're feeling depleted. These practices will give you more energy. So I recommend highly this deck for you guys. Um, it's the Yoga for Your Mood deck. And I will also link these as well down below for you. But they're very, these feel really important for you guys. Okay, ocean, the ocean spirits are asking for you to sink into the ocean, to spend time near the ocean if you're not comfortable with that. I'm hearing insignia. There's an insignia and there's something about you writing something in the sand when you were young, when you were six, specifically for someone here. There's a need for you to remember something in your past with regards to how the ocean has comforted you and how the ocean has hugged you and how it's enveloped you. There's something beautiful coming through for you guys that they want to tell you or, or to talk about. I'm feeling jade is going to be very important for you guys. Green was such a big part of your reading. Is there anything, Ocean Spirits Ancestors, that you'd like to say to close? Wow. Okay. So we have temperance coming in for you guys. Balance restored. Restored to your glory, the higher font. Learning huge lessons in this moment. I'm hearing fall sound and i'm also hearing like a, i'm hearing waterfalls so there's something about waterfalls being very significant here um it could be tlc as well coming through but you have the four of cups a lot of cups are here there's this energy of you coming into balance and seeing something that you did not expect or did not um you felt detached from there's some truths that are going to come out that are going to make a lot of sense to you when you address the masculine energy the struggle and you allow yourself to flow through these emotions and to stand atop of them and to stand your ground okay you're not going to fall into the abyss rather you're going to make plans moving forward there is a there is a place that you're going to be that you did not expect or you did not even anticipate you're going to have a lot of things to be excited and thankful for coming forward with the four of wands the eight of pentacles and the three of swords your pain is your map it almost feels as though your pain is your practice here your pain is your practice so be open to the pain and allow yourself to use it and allow it to flow your emotions to flow the bitterness to flow and to address it head on you're very headstrong is what i'm feeling very strongly and there's a need for you to remember that i'm also feeling like some lapidolite would be very helpful in addressing your stress levels as well so that is what i have for you all today is there anything else spirit whoa they want me to address this queen of wands energy you are a boss you are a bad bitch, okay? I feel like I need to say that to somebody. Fire energy. Um, and you have a message to, to share, okay? Is there anything else? Yeah. Slowly but surely and faithfully. You may be a speaker. You may be, um, there's a need for you to speak out about this in some event um, at some point down the road. And this is something you've worried about. But there's something about you speaking and public speaking being a very important pivotal aspect of your generation is what I'm hearing. So that is what I have for you all today. Thank you so much to Pile 3. And I send you with so much love. I sense your ancestors, your spirit team, your elemental spirit um, guides, your nature spirits that are in love with you. I just really wish them and you just so much love in the future. And I look forward to hearing about how this resonated. So feel free to comment if you feel comfortable. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this um, as I go more in depth with healing messages for the collective. But until next time, I hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye.